the NRP78 research project of Christina Muller and her team at the Paul Scherer Institute, investigated the ACE2 receptor. ACE2 serves as an entry portal for the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and plays an important role in the cardiovascular system. To study these receptors, the research team looked for substances that make ACE2 visible. During a SARS-CoV-2 infection, the natural function of ACE2 could be altered. However, this possibility has hardly been explored because it has not been possible to visualize ACE2 from the outside. Imaging through a so-called positron emission tomography, also called PET, is an important tool to better understand diseases and their causes. Therefore, together with the ETH Zurich, we would like to develop a radio tracer that enables the non-invasive imaging of ACE2 using PET. In a first step, Christina Muller's research team tested the stability of the radio tracers and their binding affinity to ACE2 on cells in the test tube. In the test tube, we were already able to show that our newly developed radio tracers bind specifically to ACE2. However, we did not know at that time whether the radio tracers could also reach the cells with the receptor in an intact organism. That is why we need mice in this project, specifically to verify that the radio tracers also work in an intact organism. These studies have shown that the radio tracers do indeed bind to the receptor in mice, but we have also found that the radio tracers are not yet optimally distributed in the body and that their properties therefore need to be further improved. Additional studies on this are planned, in collaboration with ETH Zurich. This collaboration is expected to result in a radio tracer for the detection of ACE2 which can support researchers in their work in many ways. The use of such a radio tracer could help researchers in the future to detect and also understand the changes in ACE2 during SARS-CoV-2 infection. However, the application of this radio tracer is not only limited to patients with COVID-19, but could support the understanding of the function of ACE2 in general, which is particularly important in the context of cardiovascular diseases.